Praise the Lord, everybody. What another day that the Lord has made. We have every reason to rejoice and be glad in this day. For God has kept us throughout the night, woke us up this morning, closed us in our right mind, kept our minds, kept our hearts, kept our families, kept us while we traveled up and down the roadways, blessed us with food, clothing, and shelter. I've got so many reasons to praise the Lord. I'm telling you, we talked about it a minute and I just a little while ago. We're not here for a performance. We are here for worship. We are here for praise, hallelujah, oh yes, of the great and mighty God, God who is Jehovah Jireh, our provider, our keeper, our healer, our savior, oh we got so many reasons, so many reasons to praise the Lord, give the Lord some praise in his house, hallelujah, he is worthy, he is worthy. And he is God and he is good. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for blessing us to come into your house this morning. We thank you for everyone that have made it throughout another week, oh God. We stand here as witnesses, oh God, of what you can do. We are here witnesses of what the devil can't do. Hallelujah. He couldn't have his way with us, Lord, because your spirit was in us. And we thank you because you watched over us throughout the day and throughout the night. And you kept our minds and hearts and souls stayed on you. So now, Lord, here we are today. And we are coming with great energy. We are coming with great passion. We are coming with great desire to lift you up and to magnify your holy and righteous name. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Do in us as you want to do. Move in us as you want to move. Drive out everything of the enemy. We don't want him here. He don't belong here. For we are your people and we are your children. And we thank you, Hallelujah. And we thank you for it now. Lord, be with us as we get ready to worship you in spirit and in truth. Dear God, anoint us. Give us your power. Give us your lively spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we lift you up, Lord, as we give you glory that you're worthy to receive, we ask these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Glory be to God. Join in with us as we get ready to worship the Lord this morning. One, 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 one way to God. 
God. I think all the church can say amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know when I was in my mess, when I was in my stuff, when I was carrying on, when I should have died, when I should have left this world, I'm standing here all because Jesus said, no, you can't have him, devil. You can't do what you want to, Satan. I'm going to preserve him. I'm going to keep him. I've got a use for him. I've got a place I want him to go. That's why I can sing that song. King, nobody, nobody, nobody do me like Jesus. Give God some praise in his house. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Nobody 
Nobody, nobody can do me like Jesus. I feel like parking right there for a while, but I'm going to move on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I feel in my spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You've been too good to me. You've been too good to me not to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You've been too good to me. I've got to praise him. I've got to praise him. I've got to praise him. Hallelujah. I might feel sick, but I got to praise him. I might feel tired, but I got to praise him. I might have my best suit on, but I got to praise him. I might have money in the bank, but I still got to praise him. Oh, glory to God. For my God is worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, we're going to move further in our service. We ask that the deacon Stark prepare himself, praise the Lord, to get ready to lead the men in our monthly prayer. We thank God for certainly him. Thank God for the men. We ask the men, please make your way up to the front as we have our monthly men's prayer. God bless you, Deacon Stark. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus. This morning, Lord Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity to praise your name one more time. Hallelujah. One more time, Lord Jesus. For Lord, hallelujah. We're not ashamed to call on your name, Jesus. We're not ashamed, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus, 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 hallelujah. For Lord, you've been so good to me, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, when we need you, Lord Jesus, you're right there, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Hey, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, when we are sick, Lord Jesus, we know you are a healer, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, oh, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. What a mighty name, Jesus, hallelujah. You're worthy of the praise, Lord Jesus. Hey, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. You're worthy of the honor, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, you are, Lord Jesus. For, Lord, you've been so good, Lord. For can't nobody, nobody, nobody do me like Jesus. For you picked me up, Lord Jesus, and turned me around, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I praise your mighty name, Jesus. I oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. <coughs> thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. For Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, Lord, Lord Jesus. Lord, we call on your name right now, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, see it. Hey, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, hallelujah. Hey, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Well, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Lord. But we know where our help come from, Lord. Hey, Lord Jesus. Yeah, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hey, Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, we call on your name, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. What a mighty name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let's take a few minutes, me, and just call on that name. Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. 
Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. For you look beyond our faults, Lord Jesus, and saw our needs, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for it, Lord, hallelujah. Lord, you watched over us through the night, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus, raising us up this morning, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Hey, Lord Jesus. Hey, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah, Lord, hallelujah. Hey, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We ask that you continue, Lord Jesus to cover our pastor and lady in the blood, Lord, in their traveling, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Those that are sick today, Lord Jesus, we pray for our healing, Lord, because we know you are able to do it, Lord Jesus. Do it, Lord Jesus. Do it, Lord Jesus. Do it, Lord, hallelujah. Whatever the needs may be today, Lord, hallelujah. We know you are a supplier of our needs, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, you are, Lord, hallelujah. For I know for myself, Lord Jesus, what you can do, Lord. What you do for me, Lord, hallelujah. You can do for others, Lord Jesus. For you have no respect of person, Lord. Hey, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, we just want to thank you right now, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. And men of God, Lord Jesus, we just lift up your mighty name, Jesus. We lift up your mighty name, Lord Jesus. Lord, we give you praise on today, Lord. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a great God. The mighty God. Yes, Lord, we're here to worship you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. you Jesus we only want you Lord have your way Father have your way Jesus thank you Father thank you Deacon Stark we appreciate you leading us to the throne of grace keeping our mind stayed on Jesus our help our hope our deliverer our all in all thank you Father Oh, yes, we are here to worship the Lord. We are here to worship the Lord. I would love for him to break out in among his people right now. Hallelujah. I would love a Holy Ghost break out in this place right now. Hallelujah. I would love for God just to take it to Glory to God. To take over our service. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus. We can get out of the way so that you can have your way, Lord. Glory to God. That we get out of the way, Father. That you can have your way. We are your people. We are your children. We belong to you, Father. We are not our own. We belong to you. We are the sheep of your pasture. We belong to you. The world we deny. Satan we deny. Sin we deny, for we belong to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are yours. Blessed be the name of the Lord our God. 
Hallelujah. Well, if you feel the Lord moving, go ahead and let him have his way. You might as well catch on with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I would like, if you would, our scripture will be in Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. And we will read verses 4 through 8. Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 8. Turn in your Bibles, if you would, with me to that scripture. And when you find it, please stand uh, as we read this particular passage of scripture in preparation for the morning message in Jesus' mighty name. Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 8. I'll be reading from the King James Version. Other versions that you have, if you'll follow along with us in Jesus' name. If you have it, say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 8. The Holy Spirit writing through Paul. He says, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Amen. We can't say that too much. Praise the Lord. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things in Jesus' name. And God's word is blessed for the people of God. Amen. And this time our choir will come back to us with this means war in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I got joy in my soul. God is in control. I got Satan on my trail, but I'm singing all is well. He's attacking every day, but I'm watching while I pray. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. This means war. This means, this means war. This means, this means war. This means, this means war. I got joy in my soul. God is in control. I got Satan on my trail, but I'm singing all is well. He's attacking every day, but I'm watching while I pray. Attack, I won't turn back. This means war. This means this means war. This means this means war. This means this means war. I plead the blood. I plead, I plead the blood. There's power. This means war. This means, this means war. This means, this means war. This means, this means war. Tell them you can't have. Power 
This means war. This means This means This means This means Thank you. 
Thank you, Jesus. My God and my Savior. Ain't God good? Don't he feel good? Don't he taste good? Isn't he good? I know he is. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, we'll move further. Sister Tashna, praise the Lord. Amen. We'll have a VBS announcement, and then they will have a graduation prayer. Just a VBS announcement. Amen. Praise the Lord. VBS announcement to Sir, Sister Tashna. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. All right. Who can name the fruit of the Spirit? Anybody? Any sisters? Anybody? Anybody? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right. All right. All right, Elder. All right. So, VBS, when is it? Starts tomorrow. Amen. What time? 6.30, amen. Does anybody know our theme for this year? That's what we'll be learning about, the fruit of the Spirit. What's our theme? Anybody knows? Who? Somebody said it. I need to give that person a prize. Growing with Jesus. Let's say it together. Growing with Jesus, amen. And this week, we're going to be learning all about the fruit of the Spirit. Amen? You are all invited. All. Amen? Everybody. Amen. Not just the kids. Adults. We'll have classes for adults. All age groups. We'll have supper. You don't have to worry about that. So, you, you know, you don't have to think about going home to cook. Just bring everybody. Come fellowship. Hear about uh, the Word of God. Learn about the fruit of the Spirit, and you get supper too. So you don't even have to head home, amen? Just leave work, pick the kids up, come on to VBS, amen? Amen, amen. amen. And then on Thursday, does anybody know what we're doing on Thursday? I know all the kids know. Our outing. And this year, we're going back to Frankie's, amen? Did we have fun the first time we went? <laughs> Woo, yes, all right? So more information will come when you are when you come to VBS. We'll have a permission form for parents to fill out and all of that. But we are still in need of sponsors. So if there's anybody, everything we do, we don't charge a registration fee. We don't charge for anything at all for VBS. Amen. So if you would like to sponsor a student for the outing, please see me after church. Thank you to those who have already uh, sent me donations. You've already pledged to donate. Thank you for your sponsorship. Amen. We do have VBS registration forms in the vestibule, so pick one up. If you haven't filled it out yet, go ahead and fill out your registration and hand it in. Drop it off today. Amen. We also have flyers, so take a flyer, share with your neighbor, share with your friends. And who are we expecting to see tomorrow? Everybody, amen? So come on out to VBS. We're going to have a great time again this year. We are go we're just excited, amen? And we look forward to seeing you all. God bless. Amen. Praise the Lord. VBS, 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 VBS. Okay, I keep that in my mind. Praise the Lord. It's offering time in the house of God. It's offering time. The Lord says, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. Improve me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. 
If I will not open you the window of heaven and pour you out blessing that you won't have room enough to receive, let the church say amen. amen. Give and it shall be given you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over shall men give into your bosom. At this time, I'd like if everyone please stand on both sides. And if you'll face the outer wall, this side, that wall, this side, that wall, follow the leadership of our ushers as they lead us from the back. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, you have given great things, many things, much things to us. Father, we ask, oh Lord, we humbly return this portion of that which you have given unto us. Lord, for the upbuilding of your kingdom, that there may be uh, food in your house, meat in your house, and you will open the window of heaven. Pour out our blessings. We ask it in Jesus' name. Lord, bless the widow's might. Bless those who are wealthy and gave much. We thank you for all thy goodness. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Amen. He reigns forever. He reigns, he reigns forever. He reigns, he reigns forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you all worshiping up with us this morning, giving Jesus yes. the praise and the worship that he's so, so worthy to receive. Thank you all for going with us. Uh, the choir will come with one final selection. I've seen too many victories. If the next voice you will hear, uh, God's will, will be that of Elder Wallace, who will be Amen. delivering the word of God this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Sing to many victories to let the thief have the last word. I tell you that I've seen to many victories to let the thief have the last word. Help me, choir. I've seen to many victories to let the thief have the last word. Oh, I've seen. Wake up in the morning and realize that I'm I'm still here. Come on. That let me know that God gave me favor. 
no matter what circumstances we feel. Well, he brought me through my pain and sorrows. He reassured me I got hope for tomorrow with victory complete, with mercy and grace. Well, I just keep the faith I can win this race. I see of his goodness and all he's done for me I dare not complain cause he brought me over the rugged hills all of my heartaches and pain well I understand trials come to make me strong but I've got to stay in the race y'all I gotta keep pressing on this is my testimony to you I got victory even though I don't look like what I've been through. I've seen so many victories to let the thief have the last word. Oh, I've seen so many victories to let the thief have the last word. When I wake up in the morning, I, hey, I get out of my bed, y'all. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Why don't you rise to your feet if you have the victory and give the Lord some praise. Come on and praise him. Oh, he's good for it. Because when the praises go up, no matter what situation you find yourself in, you can praise the Lord. You can praise him in the morning. You can praise him at midday. You can praise him in the evening. Come on and give God your best praise. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of God. As you continue to stand to your feet, let us pray. Father, in the matchless name, Lord Jesus Christ, we worship you, we honor you, we praise and, and we magnify your name. For the heavens declare your glory and the firmament show thy handiworks. You are wonderful, excellent, marvelous. And we thank you, my God, for this meeting today of the saints. We pray that somebody will be healed today. 
that you will work a miracle in somebody's life, that you will work a breakthrough in Jesus' name. Do it for your glory, God, and we'll be careful to give your name praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated at this time. I have a few housekeeping preliminaries in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But while you're, amen, taking your seat, if you can just uh, note uh, uh, Acts chapter number 16. Um, praise the name of the Lord. We do give honor to the Spirit of the Lord today, and we thank him. I'll be reading from verses uh, 16, amen, all the way to a concluding verse 30. It's going to be a little bit of reading today, but we'll see what we can do uh, to get through uh, this incredible passage here found in the book of Acts. Amen. We give honor to the Spirit of Christ, and we thank God for his many blessings that he has bestowed upon us in Jesus' name. Come on, give God a praise for how he has kept you, how he has watched over you, even when uh, you didn't even know um, that he was watching you or your mind may have been somewhere else. Amen. His eyes go to and fro. He sees everything. Can you say amen? So indeed, we give honor to the Spirit of Christ and we thank him for blessing us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And we honor our pastor, the honorable apostle, Dr. Ronnie L. Parson, Sr., amen, and his lovely wife. Come on, give God a praise, amen, as they celebrate Jesus, amen, in Jamaica, praise the Lord, bringing, preaching the word of God, amen. So we thank God for his great leadership, amen. God has given him a vision, amen, and we uh, to take on that provision and pro to provide for the vision. And when we do that, praise the Lord, we'll show up at VBS. Can somebody say amen? Come on now. It's already been prepared. Dinner is going to assist Natasha to say dinner is going to be here. Amen. Just bring the family and enjoy yourselves in Jesus' name. Supporting the ministry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When, when, when the Spirit of the Lord fell on the day of Pentecost, it, it didn't fall on any unoccupied seat. Amen. I want the Spirit of the Lord to fall on me. Can you say amen? Sit on me, Jesus, until I walk right. Sit on me until I talk right. Hallelujah. Sit on me until I love my enemy. We want the Spirit of the Lord to fall on me. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, and I've been... Uh, of late, uh, my wife and I, praise the Lord, give it on to my beautiful wife there and, uh, and you know, Elder, Elder Dasta have this, this expression, arm and joy, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Sister Joy, I see you there. I even have my glasses on, I can still see you there. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. So he has this expression, Sister Dasta is his, his, his arm and joy. Can you say amen? Praise the Lord. And I was just thinking, Praise the Lord. You know, my favorite candy is M&M's. Minby and Michaela. M&M's. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise. I'm learning, I'm learning from my, my big brother, Elder Doster, to be a little bit more expressive. Amen. Because when God blesses you with a wife as he's blessed me, and a beautiful daughter. I, I, you know, you got to talk about it sometimes. Amen. So come on, give God the praise for your family, for your spouse, for your husband. Amen. And how God has blessed you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, and and my, my wife and I, we are, we are going through the book of Acts, and I'm teaching it, amen, on Saturdays, praise the Lord, on Facebook. And one thing I have uncovered and discovered Amen. That Pentecost around the world is celebrated in different times. Amen. You have the Western Church, praise the Lord, that celebrated Pentecost uh, under the Gregorian calendar on May 19. Hallelujah. And then you have the, the Jewish um, believers and followers celebrated it on June uh, 11. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But then you have the Ethiopian church who follows the Ethiopian the ancient Coptic calendar. They're celebrating Pentecost today. Hallelujah. So let's just give God a praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Because every day you can celebrate 
the Spirit of the Lord. Joel said, on the last day, he will pour out his Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters should prophesy. Amen. So I'm teaching Pentecost in perspective during the weekends, not every Saturday, but praise the Lord. Surely uh, we're going through the book of Acts, and I'm going to continue in Acts of the Apostles in chapter number 16. And if you will stand to your feet, we're going to begin reading at uh, verse 16, and then we're going to conclude here. Praise the Lord. How many of you know you need the Holy Ghost? Amen. So whatever date Pentecost falls on, I just want the Holy Ghost to fall on me. Fall on me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank God for his presence. In Acts chapter number 16, amen, uh, beginning at verse uh, 16. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gained by soothsaying or fortune telling. Amen. Uh, the same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which shew unto us the way of salvation. And this she did many days, but Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Somebody said the same hour. Praise the Lord. And when her masters uh, saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrate, saying, These men beaten Jews do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being Romans. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into, in, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the, the stocks. Amen. Praise the Lord. And at midnight, somebody say at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly, somebody say suddenly, there was a great earthquake, not just an earthquake, but a great one, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened. And everyone's bands were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awakened out of his sleep and seeing the prisoner, prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling. And fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, he asked the best question that anybody can ask in the world. What must I do to be saved? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And in verse 31, I'll add that one in. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. Can you say amen? amen? Father, we love you today, and we thank you for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and get, dive into the word of God. Praise the Lord. And I, I just want to make sure that all preliminaries were spoken. If I miss, please charge it to my, what is it, um, to my head and not to my heart. You know how that going saying goes, I, I, I just got to get in the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, when, when you look in the book of Acts, truly, uh, it is a historical account of the church. Amen. When the day of Pentecost fell in Jerusalem, when they gathered, 
Amen. That the outpouring of the Holy Ghost was a fulfillment of the words written by the prophet Joel. And in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Praise the Lord. All flesh. Can somebody say all? Amen. Praise the Lord. Everyone. Amen. Your children, you, your children, as many as the Lord uh, will call, uh, is, is, is eligible uh, to receive uh, the Holy Ghost. And, and some people feel they need certain steps, amen, to, to receive the Holy Ghost. Uh, and I say that if you need uh, steps to receive the Holy Ghost, step one, believe. Praise the Lord. Okay, what about step two? Well, that's believe, believe. Okay, if you need three steps, then just believe, believe, believe. Uh, that's what gets the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Believe in, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and so when, when you consider the book of Acts uh, of the apostles, really it, it is primarily about two apostles. Amen. You see where Peter preached on the day of Pentecost and hallelujah. And as he uh, was a major leader of the Pentecostal movement, you will see how he was incarcerated and, and the things that he went through to make sure that the people of God received his word. And surely even preaching to the Gentiles. And that caused some issues because now the Jews felt that they needed to be circumcised. And then you'll see the rise in, as we transition now um, in this part of the uh, text in uh, chapter number 16, you will primarily see the Apostle Paul. And Paul, the Apostle, um, the Spirit of the Lord, God blessed him with special gifts and miracles, amen, uh, was brought forth and manifested through his ministry. You would also see, uh, and if you read the book of Acts carefully, um, the writer of this, uh, uh, this, this, this uh, uh, book here uh, is, is a continuation of, of, of the Gospel of St. Luke. Uh, this is the second volume um, that he's written to uh, most excellent uh, Theophilus. You would see beginning in verse 10 of chapter number 16, that Luke, the writer, injects himself. And you will see now he will begin to uh, express we and us. In verse 10, for example, after he had seen the vision, immediately we endeavored uh, to go into Macedonia. So now Luke has actually injected himself. He's the physician. He along with Timothy and now with Silas and now Paul, these four, Praise the Lord, because uh, it was Barnabas after Paul in the contention with Barnabas, amen, decided not to take Mark along anymore because Mark left uh, the mission. This was Paul's second missionary journey, and, and he uh, met some saints by the riverside, amen, outside of Philippi, amen, which began the roots of the church in the Philippians. And so you've heard in your reading, Philippians chapter number uh, uh, four, praise the Lord. And so that's uh, the, the foundation of this church. And I want to just call your attention here again back to the scriptures. Because after Paul had cast this demon out, amen, praise the Lord. And when, when her masters now saw that the hope of their, their gains was gone. Praise the Lord. Financial gone. It's, 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 it's vanished away. Praise the Lord because of the power of the Holy Ghost. They caught Paul in solace. They didn't catch, amen. They didn't say they catch Luke and, and Timothy. Praise the Lord. But they caught Paul and they caught Silas. They caught those two and drew them into the marketplace, unto the rulers, and, and brought them uh, to the magistrates, brought them before them, say, these men being Jews, they, they, they are troubling us. They ain't know they were Romans too. Praise the name of God. They beat them. Amen. They, 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 they whipped them. Praise the Lord. And laid many stripes upon them. Amen. And cast them into the inner prison. Can you imagine? Because Paul wanted to go out to Asia. But if this was the spirit of the Lord that led him to Europe and the church at Philippi was the first church that was planted in Europe. He did exactly what God told him to do. But he found himself in prison, bloodied after having been beaten. I would like to use just as a thought, if you would go with me, praise the name of God. There is another side of this. Amen. There's another side of it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it's just as a sub theme. 
Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, when you get to the other side. I want you to think about that for a moment. Because, see, one thing about our walk with Christ. Amen. God would take us places that we wouldn't ordinarily go. Uh, can you imagine that, amen, if Paul knew that he was going to be whipped and brutalized the way that he was? Amen. Praise the Lord. Not that he would not have gone, because anytime anyone, praise the Lord, put themselves in a place where they are going to lift up Jesus, amen, and if you follow the Lord, you will suffer persecution. Amen. So you have to keep in mind that uh, uh, regardless to what uh, you think uh, 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 your life would be, when you put your life in God's hand, amen, there are certain things that you have to recognize and understand that you're not to think it's strange concerning the fiery trials that would come to try you as though something is strange is happening. But you have to be prepared and regardless to what you face in your life. And so then now Paul, when, amen, when he was uh, taking this journey now uh, to uh, Macedonia, uh, he came across some women uh, that were praying by the riverside. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, because they didn't have a synagogue in which to go into. And so these women, they prayed and, and, and they sat down with them. Uh, praise the name of God. Hallelujah. And it was Lydia, amen, that heard the word of the Lord and her heart was touched. Amen. And so she had not only received the Lord, but her entire household has received God. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. And she said, and she wanted, amen, praise the Lord. And she wanted uh, 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 Paul, amen, to use her own home uh, as a place to start the ministry. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. You, how many times have you realized just how impactful that women have been when it comes to the church? Uh, even our founder, Bishop R.C. Lawson, it was a woman that witnessed to him when he was on his sick hospital bed. Uh, it was a woman that opened up her house to the Apostle Paul. Uh, praise the name of God. Hallelujah. But the Bible says that he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Now, now, I'm not talking about the office of a bishop. I'm not talking about the office of an elder. I'm not talking about an office of the pastor. But I'm talking about being available, amen, to God. Uh, to share the word of God to whomever that would have an ear to hear what thus says the Lord. Uh, God can use whomever he wants to use. Uh, hallelujah. To send his word through. God can use whatever vessel that would make Make themselves available. Huh? Are you available to the Lord? Huh? And if you are available, come on and give God some praise in here today. Huh? Now I'm going to ask my organist to help me out in just a bit huh? because I'm not going to be preaching up here too much long. Huh? Hallelujah. But Paul, huh? hallelujah, praise the name of God. They got these believers together. Huh? They began to worship God. They began to praise him. Huh? Hallelujah. By the riverside, outside of town. Huh? Oh, praise his name. And as the church was being planted, as the church of Philippi in its infancy, oh, bless the name of God. Do you think the enemy is just going to uh, uh, sit idly by? Oh, anytime you want to do something for the Lord, the enemy has his eyes on you. And Paul tolerated that damsel following them for days. Hallelujah. These men are men of the Most High God uh, that shew us the way to salvation. Uh, she may have been technically correct. Uh, oh, praise the name of God. Uh, but the devil was beginning to get intimidated. Uh, I've been working this area for a long time. Uh, and now here come the believers. Here come, hallelujah, these Jesus followers. Here come these saints of God. Uh, oh, praise the name of God. You know, the, the devil, hallelujah, uh, Oh, praise his name. Uh, oh, he wants to get up in the house of the Lord. Uh, oh, he, he just doesn't want to be in charge uh, of the drug house. Uh, he just doesn't want to be in charge of the alcohol house or the whole house. Uh, but he wants to get in charge.
heart of the house of the Lord. Uh, I could imagine that demon which was a spirit of python, uh, that python demon, uh, that cunning crafting demon, uh, trying to flatter Paul, uh, trying to get on his good side uh, so he can stay there and operate the way he was. Uh, oh, praise the name of God. This little girl was a slave girl. Uh, can you imagine the upstanding woman, uh, a businesswoman, Lydia? Uh, she sold purple. She was a woman, uh, and she loved the Lord. Uh, to this woman here that is being possessed by a demon, uh, oh, praise his name. Uh, so Paul now had to make a decision. Uh, shall I, hallelujah, uh, have this demon uh, continue to follow us? Uh, oh, praise his name. Uh, because when Jesus healed, uh, there were times he said, don't, don't tell anybody. Uh, because sometimes... Uh, You've got to keep what God is doing for you to yourself huh? until God begins to manifest it. Huh? Don't be so quick huh? to tell everybody about that business you want to open. Huh? Don't be so quick huh? to tell somebody that you plan to get married. Huh? Sometimes you got to let things unfold huh? according to God's plan huh? because the enemy wants to plant in your mind. Huh? Didn't uh, my brother read to you? Huh? Hallelujah. Think on the things things that are lovely. Huh? Think on the things that are good report. Huh? If there be any virtue, if there be any praise. Huh? Sometimes you got to think positive things huh? so that the devil won't try to infiltrate huh? because that's what he wants to do. Huh? He wants to infiltrate then he wants to contaminate. Huh? He wants to divide the believers. Huh? Sometimes you got to keep it to yourself. Huh? Keep it to yourself what God is doing for you huh? until the time comes huh? and then everybody can see in the name of Jesus. So Paul tried to be patient. He tried to be patient with this demon. This demon trying to get on his good side. These men are men of the most high God that shew unto us the way of salvation. She brought much money to her masters. She was being used as a slave girl. And there's sometimes that are people right now today that are being used in sex trafficking. How Hallelujah to the name of God, uh, to greedy men that mean them no good, uh, because the love of money is the root of all types of evil. Uh, when people love money so much, uh, all they can see is green. Uh, they don't care who they walk on. Uh, they don't care who they abuse. Uh, they don't care who they misuse. Uh, but I'm here to tell you in here today, uh, we got to keep our minds. Uh, we got to keep praying for our young people in here today. Uh, because the devil wants to destroy them. Huh? He comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. Huh? But Jesus come that you might have life huh? and that you might have it more abundantly. Huh? Oh, praise his name in here today. Huh? She continued to follow them. Huh? She continued to annoy Paul huh? until Paul turned and he spoke straight to the demon. Huh? He spoke right to that devil huh? and said, I command you in the name of Jesus. Huh? How many of you know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, huh? nor against principalities. Huh? Hallelujah. But we wrestle against principalities huh? and the rulers of the darkness of this world huh? and spiritual wickedness in high places. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Your enemy is not your family. Huh? Your enemy is not your wife. Huh? Your enemy is not your husband. Huh? You got to learn to speak directly to these demons huh? and tell them where to go. Huh? You can tell them to get out in the name of Jesus. Huh? You can run them out your family. Huh? When they creep up on your job, huh? you can run them off your job. Huh? You got to learn how to speak directly to that devil huh? and tell that devil where to go. Huh? If you want to analyze that demon, huh? he was a python's demon. Huh? He had the spirit of divination, huh? of soothsaying and fortune telling. Huh? And that's how some people are. Huh? They're so anxious to find out their future, huh? that they'll go to huh? a palm reader, huh? they'll go to somebody, huh? they'll go through the occult huh? to find out if they're going to get some money, huh? to find out if they're going to get married, huh? oh praise the name of God, huh? if you want to know your future, huh? as Pastor Parson said, huh? then turn
turn to the book of Revelation. Uh, they overcame by the blood of Jesus uh, and by the words of their testimony. Uh, are you saving here today? Uh, have you been blood washing? Uh, have you been filled with the Holy Ghost? Uh, you want a future? Uh, God will give you a future. Uh, I don't have to go to some Ouija board uh, and speak to the dead. Uh, I don't have to go to some familiar spirit uh, and find out anything. Uh, I don't have to sprinkle some dust uh, or engage in some voodoo. Uh, all those things, uh, they are lesser gods. Uh, they might be right some of the time. Uh, you read your horoscope, uh, you might find some similarities some of the time. Uh, but the enemy does not have any power uh, that can match the power of God. Uh, if you want to know your future, uh, get in the Word. Uh, get in the Bible. Uh, get in the Word of God. Uh, Oh, praise his name. And so now you got to, oh, praise his name. I might be going a little bit too fast, but I thank God for you. I'm going to ask you to pick up in a little bit. Oh, praise his name. Oh, glory to the name of God. I don't want to hurt myself in here today. Oh, praise his name. And so when you look at the text now, the gain is lost. Hallelujah. They can't use this girl anymore. They use her. The devil will use her. Oh, praise his name. God came to set us free. He redeemed us by the blood of Jesus. He went into the slave market and bought us out by the blood. But the devil is still selling slaves. And he's selling them from two all the way up to 90 years old. He's selling slaves. Every day his market is going. Oh, praise his name. And who are the bidders? You got hatred is bitter. You got murder is bidden. You got adultery is bidden. Fornication and lying, they're bidden. They're bidden on human beings, bringing them into slavery. Don't you know when you're in slavery? Hallelujah. How praise his name. Do you not know to whom you yield yourself servants to obey? His servants ye will obey, whether it's sin unto death or obedience unto righteousness huh? and when you are a slave to sin huh? the devil will use you huh? whenever he gets ready huh? why do you think so many people huh? are out there murdering others huh? and stealing and lying huh? and cheating huh? because they are under slavery huh? this little girl was under slavery huh? she was being huh? used by the devil huh? to make money huh? oh praise the name of God huh? but I'm here to tell you in here today uh, when Jesus walks up in the slave market uh, he decides uh, I'm going to take some slaves out of this market uh, and I'm going to blood uh, I'm going to blood wash them uh, I can see the devil now uh, say I'm in charge of this market uh, and I control all the money in the world uh, I control the gold uh, I control the silver uh, I offered you uh, the kingdoms of this world uh, but you didn't take it. I control Wall Street. I control everything. So what are you going to buy them with? I got all the money. Jesus said my blood and my blood is able to buy all these slaves out of the slave market. You ought to give God some praise in here today. You've been bought with a price. Oh, praise his name. I'm talking about the precious blood of Jesus. That blood that flows from Emmanuel's vein uh, underneath sinner's plunger uh, to lose all their guilty stain. Uh, I'm talking about the blood of Jesus now. Uh, oh, praise his name. Uh, the apostle Paul, uh, uh, he got tired uh, uh, of this demon uh, uh, following them uh, uh, and trying to interrupt uh, uh, or try to sidestep, uh, uh, try to get in Paul's good side. Uh, and Paul cast this demon out. Uh, uh, he will face the consequences. Uh, Sometimes you got to face the consequences uh, of living for Jesus. Uh, they brought them, uh, Paul and Silas, uh, they brought them uh, before the mattresses. Uh, they brought them uh, to the marketplace uh, where the rulers were, uh, and they beat them. Uh, 
unmercifully. Can you imagine? You did everything that God told you to do. It was the Spirit of God that led Paul, led Paul to Macedonia. I did what God told me to do, but here I am. I'm bloodied, and now I find myself not only in prison, but I'm in the inner prison. you talking about isolation. He's isolated from isolation. Oh, praise the name of God. Isolated from his family. Isolated from his loved ones. Isolated from the church. Isolated from the people of God. But I'm here to tell you here today, no matter what place you think the devil got you, hallelujah, there's another side to this. And I'm here to tell you here today, you got to get to the other side. Get to the other side. Hallelujah. Paul did not complain. When we find ourselves, yes, he'll be up in here today. Paul did not complain when he looked at his situation and you got Silas with him. They're in a prison now. They're in a dungeon. Can you imagine the stench? Can you imagine the cries? Can you imagine the pain and suffering? Now some folks were there because they committed crimes. But all I was doing was praising God. All I was doing was doing what the Holy Ghost told me to do and now I find myself in this situation when Jesus came in the world he did everything that his father told him to do but he find himself up on the cross wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities I'm preaching fast in here today and the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed hallelujah Job did everything that God told him to do. He avoided evil, but he lost seven sons. He lost three daughters. He lost a lot of his possession, but he praised God. And then he had a wife that said, curse God and die. Oh, praise his name here today. When you find yourself in a situation like this, what are you going to do? Are you going to complain? Are you going to say, woe is me? Are you going to feel sorry for yourself? Or are you going to praise the Lord? Because there's another side to this. You got to get to the other side. Hallelujah to the name of God. God puts you in certain situations. And some of you right now in here today, you're in a situation. You are in a bad situation. And you don't know which way to turn. But I'm here to let you know turn to the cross uh, uh, turn to Jesus uh, oh praise his name uh, hallelujah uh, turn to Jesus uh, and let him know uh, about your situation uh, because he knows about it anyway uh, hallelujah uh, he has a plan for your life uh, God would take your life uh, uh, and he would mold it uh, he would shape it uh, he would fashion it uh, oh praise his name uh, until he gets uh, uh, the end result uh, because there's another side uh, somebody else need to be saved uh, somebody else need to be delivered uh, somebody else uh, uh, needs to be set free uh, we say we are energized uh, uh, to evangelize uh, do we know what that means uh, Paul was a missionary uh, and when you go out on your mission journey uh, when you go out uh, uh, be prepared uh, uh, because the enemy uh, uh, wants to destroy Destroy uh, everything uh, that God plans. Uh, if he can't run it, uh, he's the son of perdition. Uh, he's the man of sin. Uh, and he wants to get up uh, in the house of the Lord. Uh, he's not satisfied uh, in the pews. Uh, he wants to get in the pulpit. Uh, he wants to preach a damnable doctrine. Uh, he wants to preach lies. Uh, he wants to preach deceit. Uh, but I'm here to tell you here. 
today. And I will tell every preacher, preach Christ and him crucified. I'm determined to know nothing among you except Jesus and him crucified. You want to preach? Preach Jesus. Don't preach yourself. Preach Jesus. Hallelujah. Because if he's lifted up, he will draw all men to him. I ain't got time to lift myself up. I ain't got time to lift somebody else up. I got to lift up Jesus because he's been too good to He's been too good to me. I, I got to praise him. I, I got to magnify him. I, so they praised the Lord. I, they sang hymns. I, and the prisoners heard them. I, oh, praise his name. I, you got to overcome I, by the blood of Jesus I, and by the words of your testimony. I, praise him. I, hallelujah. I, until the devil takes his hands off. I, praise him. I, until the enemy get out your house. I, Praise him huh? until your situation changes. Huh? Praise him huh? until the roof comes off. Huh? Praise him. Huh? Oh, praise his name huh? until he pull out the Holy Ghost. Huh? Praise him huh? until he shake the foundation. Huh? He shook the foundation huh? with a great earthquake. Huh? Oh, bless his name in here today. Huh? You remember Peter? Huh? Let me go back to the other apostle for just a moment. Huh? After Peter huh, had preached the message huh, on the day of Pentecost huh, and told them huh, that you need to get baptized huh, in the name of Jesus, but repent first huh, and get baptized. Huh, every one of you huh, in the name of Jesus. Huh. We had a baptismal service huh, right here at the living yesterday. Huh. Sister Patricia, Patricia Rice, huh, she was baptized huh, in the name Lord Jesus Christ. Huh. I thank God for Sister Tracy huh, that brought her colleague huh, to the living church to get baptized. Huh? And I'm here to tell you in here today huh, if you haven't been baptized in Jesus' name, huh, you can come up right now huh, and sit on the front row. Huh? I'll baptize you huh? in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Huh? We're going to put the devil to shame. Huh? Oh, praise his name. Huh? Get baptized in his name. Huh? Get filled with the Holy Ghost huh? because that's what's going to keep you. Huh? That's what's going to cause you huh, to get caught up in the rapture. Huh? You want to go to heaven? Huh? You want to live forever? Huh? Then you got to get baptized in his name. Huh? You got to get filled with the Holy Ghost. Huh? And if you've been filled with the Holy Ghost, huh? get filled again. Huh? Get filled again. Huh? Oh, praise the name of God. Huh? Sometimes huh? we were coming to church this morning huh? and my wife said huh? we were almost out of gas. Huh? She said we got one mile left. Huh? You know some of these cars, uh, they'll tell you how many miles you got. Uh, but I was saying to myself, uh, when that thing went to zero, uh, I said, I need some grace now. Uh, oh, praise the name of God. Uh, I could imagine uh, the manufacturers, uh, they built in a little cushion there. Uh, you at zero. Uh, my wife was hoping uh, that we made it to the gas station. Uh, I got there. I was so happy. Uh, I put some gas in there uh, and we could come on to church. Uh, I'm here to tell you in here today. Day. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, we get low. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Uh, we hadn't spoken in tongues for a while. Uh, we hadn't prayed in the spirit for a while. Uh, and we feel empty. Uh, yeah, you got the Holy Ghost. Uh, You've been saved, uh, but you're running on empty. Uh, oh, praise the name of God. Uh, I need a fresh feeling. Uh, I need to be filled again. Uh, I need the Holy Ghost uh, to come upon me. Uh, I got to speak again. Uh, I got to speak speak in tongues. Huh? I got to speak with tongues of fire. Huh? I need that fire. Huh? Oh, praise the name of God. Huh? I got to have the fire. Huh? Oh, bless his name. Huh? These demons are mean. Huh? They are mean. Huh? They are nasty and ugly. Huh? You got to have the Holy Ghost. Huh? You got to have the spirit. Huh? You got to be filled. Huh? And after they harass her, huh? Peter and the rest of the boys, huh? because they healed that man huh? at the beautiful gate. Huh? Oh, praise his name. Huh? They harassed him, huh? but they went and prayed. Huh? They prayed huh? until the building.
something was shaken uh, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, I thought they were filled in chapter 2, uh, but they got filled again in chapter 4. Uh, you got to get filled again. Uh, you drink water again. Uh, you eat again, right? Uh, then I got to get filled again. Uh, I need the Holy Ghost. Uh, I need the power of God. Uh, oh, praise his name. Uh, Oh, bless his name. Huh? Paul and Silas, huh? they prayed in the prison. Huh? They prayed. Huh? They didn't complain. Huh? I ain't got time to complain. Huh? Because when I signed up for this thing, huh? I know I'm going to go through. Huh? You're going to go through. Huh? Don't think it's strange. Huh? Concerning the fiery trials huh? that come to try you. Huh? As something is strange is happening. Huh? You saw what they did to Jesus. Huh? And if they did to him green tree. Huh? What in the world you think they're going to do to you? Huh? I ain't got time to play and sing. Huh? Just come to church. Huh? Get up and go to church huh? and go home. Huh? Get up and go to church and go home. Huh? Get up and go to church and go home. Huh? Get up and go to church and go home. Huh? I got to get out there huh? where the devils are. Huh? I got to lay hands on the sick. Huh? I got to cast some devils out. Huh? Somebody needs a breakthrough. Huh? Somebody needs victory. Huh? This is the church huh, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Huh? This is the power. Huh? The power is here. Huh? There's an anointing that's here. Huh? And you got to get in it. Huh? Oh, praise his name. Huh? Let the devils, huh? let them be afraid of you. Huh? I double dare that demon huh, to cross the bloodline. Huh? Draw a bloodline huh, at your house. Huh? Put a bloodline huh, around your children. Huh? Put a bloodline Oh, praise his name here today. Oh, bless his name. I feel the spirit of the Lord. God is moving. The spirit is moving. Let him fall on you. Let him fall. Oh, praise his name here today. Bless his name here today. Oh, praise him. Paul and Silas, they prayed until the foundation uh, was shaken uh, and everybody's fans were loose. Uh, not only did God free, uh, and I want you to know, uh, it was symbolic uh, of the freedom uh, that God brings uh, when all the chains were broken uh, from everybody. Uh, oh, praise the name of God. Uh, they may have stayed in jail, uh, but they were free uh, if they believe in Jesus. Uh, you can be incarcerated, uh, but if you trust in the Lord, uh, you can be free. Uh, oh, praise the name of God. Uh, no matter what situation you're in, uh, if you believe in Jesus, uh, you are free. Uh, you are free in the spirit. Uh, you are free to serve God. Uh, you are free. Uh, so when you get to the other side, uh, praise him. Uh, even before you get there, uh, magnify him. Uh, when you get to the other side, uh, say thank you, Jesus. Uh, when you get to the other side. Huh? You see the miracles. Huh? You see your blessings. Huh? When you get to the other side, huh? look back at the devil huh? and say, you thought you had me, but I got away. When you get to the other side, uh, oh, praise the name of God. Uh, my faith uh, is built on nothing less uh, than Jesus' blood uh, and righteousness. Uh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus uh, and all, all that he's done for me, uh, my soul uh, cries out, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, stand to your feet and say hallelujah. Come on, Holy Ghost. Huh? Fill this place. Huh? Fill somebody again. Huh? Fill somebody huh? with the power huh? of the Spirit of Almighty God. Huh? Somebody wants a breakthrough. Huh? When you get to the other side, huh? look at the devil huh? and tell him to get out of my way. Huh? I got power with God. Huh? That jailer was saying, huh? he drew out his sword. Huh? Come on and praise him. Huh? He was going to kill himself. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? But he had enough sense huh? to ask, what do I need to do huh? to be saved? Huh? You got to believe on the Lord. Huh? Come on and give God some praise in here today. Oh, glory to the name of God. Come on and praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise the Lord. 
because when you get to the other side, there's victory on the other side. There is deliverance on the other side. There's healing on the other side. Oh, praise his name. Come on and give God some praise. Come on and praise his name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They didn't complain. They didn't complain. They did not complain. But they trusted that there's something on the other side. They find themselves in this deep, dark dungeon. Praise the name of God. And when you have God, when you have the spirit of almighty God in you, amen, thou, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor for the arrows that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. I tell my daughter, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Hallelujah. There shall no plague come nigh that dwelling, and he will give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. You know, they will bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Tread upon that spirit of divination. Tread upon that spirit of python. Tread upon every adder, lion, amen, and dragon shall that trampled under feet. Why? Because he set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. God will deliver you. And he will set you on high. Why? Because you know his name. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Call upon him when you're in trouble and he will answer you. He will deliver you. He will honor you. And he will shew you his salvation. Just like he showed that jailer. Showed him through Paul. Amen. Paul wanted to go to Asia, but the Spirit of the Lord stopped him. Amen. And he saw a vision of this man in Macedonia saying, come and help us. Oh, praise the name of God. When you are led by God, amen, be prepared. Put on the armor. Don't just go out there, but put on the breastplate of righteousness. Amen. Don't forget the sword of the Spirit. Amen. Gird up your loins with truth. Amen. Believe in the gospel, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. And above all, take up the shield of faith and quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Put the helmet of salvation on. Hallelujah. Praying with all prayer and supplication in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Watching. Watch. Pray and watch thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. That means pray for each other. We're saints, right? We're called to be saints. Is that right? Pray for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Pray for the Ethiopians believers, the saints. Amen. Pray for saints all over the world out there among indigenous people carrying the gospel message of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God is pleased when you pray for the church. Amen. Pray for the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for our presider. Amen. Apostle May. Pray for the board of apostles. Pray for their spouses in Jesus' name. Pray for the board of bishops, the board of presbyters, the missionaries. Pray for the lay people, the temple people. Pray for the saints of God. Pray for your families. Pray that somebody will get saved and get filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise the name of God. If you haven't been baptized in the name Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. If you have not been filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost, praise the Lord. I want you to come down. Amen. I'm not going to put any pressure on anybody because you know when the Spirit of God is moving on you. Amen. You know it. You know it. Hallelujah. When God is moving by his Spirit, amen, praise the name of God, you need to go ahead and take action and come down. Amen. He's already redeemed you from the curse of the law. Having been made a curse as it is written, cursed is anyone that hangeth on the tree. Praise the name of God. He died for your sins. But three days later, Deacon Medaniel, up from the grave, he arose. Hallelujah. He has all power in his hand. 
and he holds the keys of David. Whatever door, amen, he shuts, ain't no man going to open it. Amen. And whatever door he opens in your life, no one can shut it. Praise the Lord. He has it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come now, if you haven't been saved. If you want to get saved, come on down. Amen. Praise the Lord. If there's somebody here that need a prayer. Amen. You, you need prayer. You need God to do something for you. I want you to come down now. Because the same God that the Apostle Paul and Silas prayed and offer up praises and songs is the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that is here today in this place. Amen. Praise the name of God. And if you believe God for a miracle, you believe God, hallelujah, for a breakthrough, oh, bless his name. I don't know about you. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you have a family member, if you want to pray and come and stand in the gap for a family member, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is able to do it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but we need prayer. We need prayer here today. I want to give the saints of God an opportunity He's now. If you, if you are not coming up, I want you to pray for those that are coming up. Please pray. Amen. I say this is the most dangerous time of any service because the enemy wants to stop the move of the Spirit of the Lord. Just like that spirit of divination, every witch, every sorcerer, every familiar spirit, Every demon, every spirit of Python, I command you in the name of Jesus to exit by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of God, I command you to go to hell in Jesus' name. I praise the Lord today. I praise him. I praise him. Spirit of the Lord, I pray that you will fall upon everyone that is in this prayer line today. Spirit of the Lord, I pray that you will fill everyone with the Spirit of the Lord today. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, bless your name, Lord. Bless your name. Oh, praise your name, God. You know what she has need of. You know every situation, every circumstance. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost now that you will rest on her. Oh, God. Do it for your glory, God. She will praise you. Do it for your honor. She will magnify you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let your blood prevail today. Let your blood prevail, God, in Jesus' name. Oh, praise his name. Praise his name. And if you have a special prayer request, please let me know. If there's a special prayer request, let me know. Father, we love you today. In the, in the name of Jesus, we praise you now, God. I pray that the Holy Ghost will fall upon my sister, God, fall upon her in Jesus' name. Move in a mighty way, God. The unction of the Holy Ghost, let it move by the power of God. We praise you now, God. We praise you and we magnify you, God, in Jesus' name. Do it for your glory. She will praise you. Do it for your honor. And she will magnify you, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on Father, in Jesus' name, you know what she has need of. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, rest upon, rest upon your child, God. Rest upon her. Guide her and lead her in the path that you would have her to go. In Jesus' name, prepare her to face every circumstance, every situation with victory. Victory in Jesus. 
victory in Jesus. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Lord, we praise you now. We bless you, God, in Jesus' name. Let your blood prevail upon. Let your blood prevail upon. Oh, God, in Jesus' name, this child that belongs to you, God, she belongs to you. She belongs to you, God. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray that you would bless her, God, in a special way. In the name of Jesus, do for your glory, God. Do for your honor. We will bless you, Lord. We will praise you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Lord. Bless your name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, God. Bless your name. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the blood of Jesus that you will rest upon my wife, God, in Jesus' name. Rest upon your daughter. She's your child, God. Hallelujah. I pray in Jesus' name. Whatever she has need of, let it be, God, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I pray that you would heal her sister. Hallelujah, from that diabetic episode. I pray, God, in Jesus' name, that the power of God would rest on her and heal her, God. Touch her parents back in Ethiopia. Touch her family, God, in Jesus' name. Do it for your glory. Do it for your honor. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over our daughter, God, by the power of the Spirit of Almighty God. Let your blood prevail. Protect her, God, from the enemy. Protect her from every devil, every demon in Jesus' name. I plead the blood now. The blood still prevails. The blood of Jesus, it still prevails. Oh, God, we praise you now. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. You know what your child needs. You know what your daughter needs, God. Hallelujah. She's coming before you, God. She has a need that only you can supply. I pray, God, that you would rest on her now. By the power of the anointing of God, let your blood prevail today. Bless her family. Bless her husband, God, in Jesus' name. Do for your glory. Bless her ministry. Do for your honor, God. We'll be careful to give your name the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we praise you now. We praise you now. Hallelujah. In the realm of the supernatural, in the spiritual world, I praise you, God. In Jesus' name, rest upon her, God, now. Let your blood prevail. Let your blood prevail upon her right now, God, in Jesus' name. I bind the forces of the enemy. I rebuke and bind the enemy. In Jesus' name, the blood of, the blood of Jesus, I plead it right now. I plead the blood, the blood, the blood. Hallelujah. God, give her the victory. Give her the victory, God, in Jesus' name. You know what she's crying out for. You know what she has need of today. Do it for your glory, God. She will bless you, God. She will praise you. In Jesus' name. Oh, praise the name. Jesus Christ, we bless you now, God, we praise you, in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you know, and you know all things, let your blood prevail, God, freedom, God, liberty, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, I pray, God. Give him praise now. Give him praise for the freedom. Give him praise for the liberation. Give 
Give praise for the victory. In the name of Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If there be anyone else, amen, you want God to do something special in your life. You want to see a miracle. You want to see a breakthrough. Amen. I'm tired of this situation. There is another side to this. Have you gotten to the other side? We're going to pray until we get to the other side. Amen. If you believe God, you can come on and step in Jesus' name. Father, we the Lord. Amen. I got more energy. Amen. I'm going to let the Lord use me as until he used me up. Hallelujah. If there's somebody else that need prayer, don't worry about me. Amen. If I fall out, I'm going to keep praying in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is up here today. Yes. Amen. If you want to walk into your miracle, then you need to come down now. Hallelujah. Don't let it slide today. If you know that God can do it and he can, your miracle is here. Your blessing is here. Your deliverance is here. You got to put one step in front of the other. Amen. By faith, take a step. Take a step of faith. Hallelujah. I know that situation might look difficult, but can you imagine what Paul and Silas was facing? Uh, they were in a prison. They were whipped and battered and bruised. Uh, step up here. Uh, oh, praise the name of God. Uh, and see how God works through the other side. Hallelujah. Come to the other side. Come to the other side and see your breakthrough. See your miracle. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we love you today. Glory to God.
name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want everybody to point their hands. Put, point your hands up here in the name of Jesus. There's a breakthrough in the spiritual world. There is a deliverance taking place right now in the name of Jesus. I need you to pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Certain situations don't want to let go. But I plead the blood now. I plead the blood of Jesus. I need you to pray. There is a deliverance happening. There is a miracle taking place. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, praise his name in here today. Praise his name. Hallelujah. I want to serve notice in the spiritual realm. I, I serve notice. I, I see I, in the supernatural. I, there is a stronghold. I, there is a stronghold. I, and the living church, I, I need you to help me. I, I need you to help me break it. I, in the name of Jesus. I, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. I, pray in the Holy Ghost. I, pray huh, until the devil takes his hands off huh. pray huh, until every chain is loose huh. pray huh, until you get to the other side hallelujah praise his name praise his name hallelujah if there's anybody else for prayer come down now i believe god is moving amen if he shook the jail huh, he will shake up your situation. Hallelujah. We serve the same God. He's the same Lord. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Oh, praise his name. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Lord, you see the need. You know it, God. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your servant. I plead the blood now. You regard the aged. You beautify the meek with salvation. God, we pray that you will rest upon your child today. In the name of Jesus, do it for your glory, God. Do it for your honor. In the name of Jesus, we cry now before your presence, God. Let your blood prevail. Oh, God, we pray. Whatever that need is today, we cry unto you, God, because we know you are able to do it exceeding abundantly above all that is requested or asked. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, now bless, oh, God, in a special way. Deliver in a special way, God, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for Mother Brown. Bless her, God, in Jesus' name. Bless your husband, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you would continue to use. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your servant, God, to bless your people in Jesus' name. Let your blood prevail upon them, God, in a special way. Do it for your glory, God. Do it for your honor. Do it for your honor. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We bless you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, bless your name, Lord. Bless your name. Oh, praise your name in here today. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, bless your name. Whatever. Whatever you have a need of. There's a move of the Holy Ghost. There's a move of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. And if you want to step out in the aisle, if you want to step out and get in the flow of the Spirit, Hallelujah. Sometimes you just got to reach for the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. When he's walking by, touch him, oh God. Come on and lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. And in the spirit, touch the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. Touch him until you're healed. Touch him until you're delivered. Touch him until you get a breakthrough. Lord, we love you today. In Jesus' name. Come on and clap your hands and give God some praise. Amen. Have you gotten to the other side? Come on, stand to your feet. We're going to be dismissed. Amen. Amen. If you have gotten to the other side, 
it's a spiritual thing. You're still wearing the same clothes. You still have the same hat, the same shoes. But in the spirit, you on the other side. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul already knew. He knew. He knew the God that he served was going to work. You know, hey, he is sitting in that prison. Did everything. He did everything that God told him to do. Praise the Lord. But now he's bloodied. He's in a prison. But he didn't complain. He didn't complain. He didn't cry. He didn't blame God. Hallelujah. It must be something that God wants. You got to say like Job. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I got to trust God because he knows better than I know. There got to be something on the other side that he wants me to see. I'm going to get there. Are you getting there? Oh, praise his name. There's something on the other side. Your miracle is there. Your healing is there. Your deliverance is there. You're saved. Hallelujah. On the other side. He did all of that to save that jailer. This man was about to kill himself. But God wanted to save him. Praise his name. Can you imagine that? God wanted to save that prisoner, that jailer. He wanted to save the jailer and his family. And he used Paul. You'll be amazed what God will use you. But don't complain because God is going to take you through some difficult things. You've got to pick up your cross. Amen. We're following God. We're following God. Amen. I'm not following some Ouija board or some spirit of python or some sorcerer or some psychic, psychic hotline. Amen. To find out if I'm going to get a little money. Amen. Forget the money. I need Jesus. Praise the name of God. Forget the house. Forget the car. Amen. I'd rather serve God in a pinto. I'm dating myself. And then be in a Mercedes and there ain't no God there. I'll serve God in my little one-bedroom apartment as long as Jesus is there. Amen. Were you in a five-bedroom house and ain't no Holy Ghost there? Praise the name of God. I got to be under the shadow of the Most High. I got to find that secret place. Amen. There's a secret place. Get there. That's the other side. Amen. And you won't worry about anything as Elder, amen, how we read today. Don't worry about anything but through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Amen. Let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us stand. If there's anybody, amen, that want to be baptized again, I'm baptizing, amen. I feel like baptizing now. Especially since yesterday. Amen. That was a beautiful baptismal service. I want, I want to baptize you. If you haven't been baptized, come on. Let's get baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Get filled with the Holy Ghost. If you've been baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. You want to make the living church. You want to drop your ankle here. Amen. Where you'll be under the tutelage and the leadership of Apostle Ronnie Parson. Amen. As pastor of this ministry. Amen. Come on. Let's join Come up to the front, amen, if you want to join the Living Church Ministry here in Charlotte, in Jesus' name, amen. And to the listening audience, amen, please feel free to stop by sometime, and let's praise the Lord together. Amen. All on your feet, praise the Lord, with minds are cleared. Lord, we love you today, and we thank you. The Lord keep you and bless you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the matchless name, Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Shalom, shalom. Come on, give God some praise. As you go, greet somebody, amen, and say your blessing, your deliverance.